For this problem, an escalator in a department store is to carry people a vertical distance of 25 feet between floors. How long is the escalator if it makes an angle of 30 degrees with the ground, which is right here. For the special triangle, 30, 60, 90 degrees, the side that opposite to each angle will be in the relationship of one square root three to proportion. With this way, if the opposite is the X, uh, the opposite of the 30 degrees is X. So the side that opposite to the angle 60 degrees would be square root three times X. And the side that opposite to the right angle or the hypotenuse would be two times X. In this situation, the vertical distance is given to be 25 feet, which is the value for the X. Therefore, if X is 25, the length of the escalator would be two times X or two times 25, which is 50. So the answer is 50 feet. Through how many degrees does the hour hand of a clock move in five hours? When you look at the clock, there are 12 numbers there that represent like 12 hours for one revolution. So we can say that in 12 hours, it takes 360 degrees, which is one revolution. So one hour, it would take 360 degrees divided by 12 or 30 degrees. The question asks for how many degrees in five hours? So five hours is just five multiplied by 30, which is 150 degrees. In this problem, the roof of the house is to extend up 13.5 feet represent by the edge variable above the ceiling, which is the length of 36 feet across, forming an isosceles triangle. By the length of one side of the roof, let's redraw the triangle that we're gonna work on. So edge is 13.5 and L is 36 feet. We are looking for the length of one side of the roof, which is this side of what I wrote in green. That means when we look at the whole picture, there are two right triangles formed. So we just take one of them out and relabel. The height is 13.5, and this is the right angle. And the length here now is a half of 36, which is 18. We are looking for x. This is the right triangle. So we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem based on the formula a squared plus b squared equals c squared. In our case, a and b are two shorter legs and c is the hypotenuse. And then put them together to form the equation. We have 18 squared plus 13.5 squared equals x squared. And then simplify the numbers. 18 squared is 324. 13.5 squared is 182.25 equals x squared. Or x squared equals 506.25. To find x, we just take the square root of the value 506.25. And that will give us 22.5 and the unit is in feet as the length of one side of the roof that we are looking for. Note that in general, when you take the square root, we would have the result in both plus and minus psi. Since the length is in the non-negative quantity, so we disregard the negative side of the value after taking the square root. 